Well, this is the first week of winter here in South Australia. Got my mate Brian out here for a sale today. And uh, I've had a few people ask about a few things on the boat, so a few of the other builders, so I thought I'll run through a couple of things today. Fitting an anchor on the on the foredeck here with the bowsprit can be a little bit of a well, just a little bit trickier than normal. So I've got a Sarka XL and I've fabricated this fitting that takes the um, anchor clear of the bow because there is with a plumb stem it really does make it a little bit trickier fitting an anchor on these boats. Um, plumb stem and the bowsprit. So you need to get the anchor a little bit further out from the front of the boat, so that does that quite nicely. Uh, there's another owner in the Pacific Northwest who has his on, he's got a fitting on the bowsprit and it hangs off the bowsprit and that's actually very traditional on a gaff rig boat and works really nicely. Hello Michael. <coughs> so, a couple of other things. I've had a few inquiries about uh, what I do with my lights. So, I've got a wind indicator and and uh, anchor light up the mast. I have conduit running down the mast and comes out through this little stainless fitting into the junction box. The junction box looks a little bit cumbersome, but um, what I can do is I can remove the cover here. Uh, the wires just connect together inside there, and uh, these can. Um, yeah, be disassembled from what's inside the mask and then be lowered without having to go through the, the deck lands. I say it's not not the prettiest but it it, uh, it works nicely. <coughs> One other thing I did do when I built the boat I moved the hatch in the plans the hatch is around about here so I've moved it forward a little so that I can actually pull the anchor from from the hatch there if it's a bit nasty because with these endless line furlers there's no need to come forward at all so uh, that's just something to perhaps consider it doesn't change anything structurally now my forestay was up in the staysail there at the moment or the jib um, that's stainless steel but my uh, side stays here spectral, and they're just tensioned with lashings here and that works really nicely and it's very simple. The loads on the mast on a gaff rig boat are completely different to a Marconi rig boat so uh, retention is not such a big issue at all. <coughs> so coming aft here the only thing that, that I had the fellow ring during the week <coughs> and um, he's starting to uh, put his deck fittings on and uh, he was talking about asking about fitting tracks for uh, jib sheets. Um, look, Dudley spent a lot of time getting the placement of everything right. And uh, by the end of today, we'll have logged a thousand nautical miles since launch. <coughs> and uh, I haven't had any trouble with um, with the shooting positions in any wind strengths. Really easy, even leading the. The Jinnah are out there, that doesn't, uh, the sail shape is still really nice. That's probably out a little bit too far, but if there's a little bit more wind and we're off the wind, that would be lovely. So just bring it in a little. The only thing I did do, um, Dudley has this fitting there, so I've just put the fair lead there and moved this fitting aft so it's easy to reach from the cockpit. That's all. Now the only thing that probably doesn't do a great deal on these boats is the boom vang. With the long boom, um, there's not a lot of angle there, and it's not like uh, Marconi rig where you can you can crank the vang on and change the shape of the rig. That doesn't happen with these boats. So off the wind, it can be used to help the uh, the boom lifting, but it's not really that effective for that either. Only because it's you know it's such a long boom and there's not a lot of angle there. What I do have is a track, and um, off the wind, we can let the uh, 
the sheet, uh, the yeah, main sheet off to the leeward side, and that helps keep the boom down a little bit. <clears throat> More importantly, with a with a gaff rig boat, is um, the tension on your halyards and on the gaff itself. So not a lot of wind today. We've got about four and a half knots, and we're actually sailing at three knots. And the Genoa is lovely in these conditions. But, um, what you'll do more is play around with the play around with the tension on the gaff. So in light airs like today, just peek it to the no creases in the sail. If we we're sailing on the wind, we'd probably pull it up a little bit higher. And you can see there's a little crease there now. Um, probably sits about there when the wind's a little bit stronger, but much more control of your sail using the halyards rather than the boom vane. One other thing was the um, was the centerboard winch. I've uh, there's one builder currently fitting an electric winch for lifting the centerboard. Now the centerboard is 100 kilos. Uh, Dudley's designed this winch that uh, has a seven to one purchase on it. It's really very simple, and that's lifting the board up. It's just a one-handed operation and there's not, not too much weight going down either so that can be seen here and um, there's a, a spindle on this side with a spectra line that goes to the board and there's a drum on this side which gives it a seven and a half to one ratio simple and uh, very easy to use Well, that's about it for today. I promised Brian coffee and pastries. So he's waiting. And um, we'll enjoy the rest of our winter sail. It's over and out from us.